What's up guys? Today we're watching season 4 episode 9 of Breaking Bad. I am sorry that it has taken like a month to get another reaction up. It's been some tough times. But we're getting back into it. So, last episode... Let's see if I can remember what happened last episode. Gus got called in for questioning. But you know, he had an answer for basically everything. But that just gives him an advantage now because he knows that they're basically looking into him. And he's gonna like plant stuff to like get everyone else off his back. You know, what else happened? Hank tricked Walt into bringing him somewhere. Like he brought him to fucking Gus's business. It was getting Walt to put a tracker on his car and Walt was like freaking out, you know. But it ended up with Gus being okay with it because he knows that Walt wasn't doing it like intentionally. Like he did it because of Hank, you know. And we saw like a little flashback last episode with Gus and like his old partner with the other dude, like Tuco's uncle or whatever. I barely understood what was happening in that scene because, you know, I didn't have subtitles, but I made sure to have subtitles on for this episode because someone did tell me that I needed them. So they're on for this episode. A lot happened, but I'm ready to just get back into it. So I guess let's just get into the episode. Sir, what's happening? Show us something. Of course, they gotta do that with the fucking intro. Like, come on. Morning. Hey, buddy. Ready to get your rocks on? See, I knew it. Mineral Show is just some sort of guy code for strip club. Wait, where are they gonna go this time? Because last time they didn't go to anything mineral-wise. Christ, longest week ever. <laughs> I just hope we get something good, you know? Keep your fingers crossed. Oh wait, they're gonna go get the tracker off of Gus's car, huh? Rocky, you know? Bum! Bum, bum, bum! Bum, bum, bum! Is that Mike? Oh, it's, it's a eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. It rising up from the end of my life. You don't even know the lyrics. Come on. And Gus made sure to put it back. What are you doing, buddy? Leaving. No, no, you gotta go inside. You had to order something like last time. Avoid suspicion. Will you? Besides, I want a vanilla shake. Too bad, so side. Yeah, just go. What the hell? Look at this. Bump, 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 bump. That's work. That's home. That's work. That's home. He knows what you're doing. Just maybe he's not your guy. Oh, guy, this clean's got to be dirty. <sighs> Sometimes I just feel like he's looking just to find something on someone. Like, but then again, he is correct. He just don't know. Huh? What just happened, bro? Does he see the other car and he's gonna go talk? Knew it. And I want to report a very suspicious man who's lurking in my neighborhood. He's sitting in a blue sedan and he He's been staring at a particular house for a very long time. Damn, he really did that. You gotta leave now, buddy. 
tell you. You got one of those for me. One of those what? Cigarette. Ew, no. Hmm. So what have you been up to? What? He's just making casual conversation. You gotta inhale, by the way. Oh man, don't you have enough cancer already? Look. Damn, he has a point. I'll do it. Yeah, well, what does it matter? We're both dead men anyway. Let's hope that's not a foreshadowing moment for, like, episodes in the future. If they die at the end... But how could they die at the end if there's a movie? Listen... On another subject, I just wanted to tell you that business is good. Really good. As if you don't know. Yeah, we'll be there. All of this to say, maybe you could start thinking about an exit strategy. There's no exit out of that place, man. He has a tracking thing of his own. What is he going to use it for? Uh, it's not far from town. The place is huge. I mean, I'm looking at it online right now. It's a, it's a big warehouse and, and, and rows of these. That's where he works. Sounds promising, right? Huh. So, what do you say, buddy? Got another field trip in you? We do not go on that field trip. No. Upset stomach and, you know, everything. Yeah. It's, it's, it's out of control. It, it's really explosive and bad, bad text mix. He's really playing into it. Another ride? Yeah, I'm sure I can get someone else to take me. Uh, my trainer, Chuck, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll ask him. Well, look. I you're really still gonna go. Sure. If it means that much to you. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, give me a call when you're, when you're feeling up to it. All right. Thank you. That, uh, yeah, I, I will. Okay. So he's getting him to hold off a bit, which is good, because now he can try and think of something. But I feel like he's gonna have to go to Gus about it, because it's Gus's business, it's also where he works. Probably, in the near future, take a ride out to a certain distribution center to look around for things. Gotta tell Mike. Look around for things. And, yeah. Uh. Man really hung up on him after he told him what was going to happen. Like, no, thanks for the heads up. Where's this all going? Elsewhere. Oh, okay, so they're already working on, like, cleaning shit up for whenever Hank goes. Explorer? Well, of course we could shampoo your floor mats, but really, deluxe detailing is the best bang for your buck. Oh, and SUVs are extra. And please give this. What is she doing? Thanks, guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you showing back up? Hi there. Um, I think it's Skylar. Um, I'm gonna need to talk to you. About what? Actually, we do. An audit? Wait, an audit tomorrow? 
Oh, shit. God, you're facing a felony charge here. A hundred thousand dollar fine on top of the taxes you already owe, plus five years in prison. Oh, shit. He... Mm. What if he gets caught and then Walt just doesn't ever? How the books got the way they are, maybe there's some way you could uh, undo what's in there. You want me to uncook your book? Why are you bringing her into this? She's already in with her own shit, Ted. Allowed to monitor your mail and tap your phones and not just you, Ted. Everyone involved in those books. Well, she definitely can't have that considering. I'm gonna figure out a way through this somehow, okay? He really just brought her all of that information, and for what? It's like, yeah, he asked for help, but it's like, now she's not, and it's like, now what? Is who gonna kill who? Gus. Is he gonna kill Mr. White's brother-in-law? I hope not. Though, like, for Gus, it kind of seems unnecessary, but please don't. We love Hank. Never cook for Gus again. Is he Loki trying to help Hank out? Most like not because he wants to, but because you know Walt. What the fuck? Who? Who? Son of a bitch! You get comfortable, kid. We may be here a while. Slay, Mike. You saved him. Shit, like he don't give a fuck, like he's invincible. What was that like some sign of respect that he's doing that? Gus is crazy. Damn. Okay. The guys. Que la respuesta es sí. To what? And, like, to what question? Um, because I know you went to go see Dude last episode, but I don't think there was a question asked. Unless it's someone else. Should I even ask? I wouldn't. And Mike's got a lump. What happened? What was it this time? What did this poor bastard do to piss off Gus? Or did Gus just need to send another man? It actually wasn't Gus this time, sir. Plan on calling the cops on one of my guys again. You go ahead and get two barrels. Damn. Sorry, Mike. Next time, don't stand there like an idiot. Move your feet, run, and so forth. He just got stunned, you know? A Terminator shit? Walking right into the bullets? What the hell was he doing? I want to know, too. His distribution network. They're not looking to kill him. But why? Oh. Oh, okay, so the cartel. Come. 
That's one a year straight so far. Do you want to say something about this? Because I'm having a hard time. So they're already questioning Ted about it. Oh, I am so sorry I am late. I got lost. Hey, Ted. Sky. Woo. So she's coming save his ass. Environmental people. So anyway, since there wasn't a physical check, I didn't enter it into the book, but the money's there. Hmm. Not allowed to not declare it. When I input everything into the Quicken, nothing flashed red, so that's got to mean it's okay, right? So she's really playing kind of dumb, even though she knows her shit, okay? <sighs> right. This is all falling into place now. She really helped him. Okay. I wash. I'm not uh, really clear about what happened in there. What happened was good news. She helped your ass, bro. Be grateful. Mortgage. I have a lien on my house. I don't have any assets. I, I, there are no assets left to sell. Ted, if you don't pay them, they will reopen the investigation. I'm getting like a feeling she's about to offer him help with the money that they have. It's like, I feel like she won't do it, but then you never know, you know? Oh, so he's going to ask Gus himself. Yeah, I guess. Mike mentioned I have some questions. Ooh, so he was already expecting it. We'll eat first. And then we'll talk. He's gonna put it in the food, but then it's like, what if he doesn't eat it and then Gus is sus suspicious? Why did I just stutter on that? What am I doing here? He didn't even eat, so maybe he did it. I will answer your questions. But first, I need you to answer one question for me. Oh no, oh no. Can you cook Walter's formula? What? You're gonna try and get him to turn on Walt so you can kill Walt. You wanna, you wanna talk like men? Let's talk like men. You kill Mr. White, you're gonna have to kill me too. His loyalty, bro, his loyalty. Now, if you would, answer the question. Why? Why jump like that? Because if he said yes, that jeopardizes Walt entirely. And it's like, yeah, Jesse is loyal to him, but if he knows that he can cook, he's... And Gus is gonna get him killed. Don't you dare be getting that money out to help Ted. Ma'am, you got your own shit, and plus, that is Walt's money. That's kind of fucked up. He put a tracker on Jesse's car? I, I don't know if you're with your family or whatever, but this is, uh, important, so, um, Hoping you could come over. Does he think that Jesse possibly turned on him since he saw that he went to Gus's house or something? So, um, okay, so uh, word has come down that they 
They want me to go to Mexico. There's some some sort of war brewing between Gus and the and the. Well, I I gotta give it to them. I mean, I'm supposed to go to Mexico and and teach a bunch of cartel chemists how to cook a batch of blue. That's not like how this goes, though. He's the only, yeah, he's the only chemist. Asking me chemistry stuff that I don't know how to answer because I'm not you? And what if, what if, like, all the equipment is, uh, is in Mexican instead of English? You don't know Spanish that well. Me either, bro. So, wait, look, I, I, I need, I need your help. Okay, maybe you could, uh, maybe you could, like, coach me or something. I feel like he's been coaching you a bit about certain stuff. So you saw Gus? What? No. You didn't see Gus? Yeah, you did, and you just lied to him, so... Mike and them, I mean, they did, they... So they doesn't include Gus. You haven't been with Gus. You haven't seen Gus. You haven't spoken to Gus. He's mad that Jesse hasn't done the thing. Ruth. Are you lying, little shit? You had one thing to do. One thing. That is the only thing I might add that would save our lives. And you were. Sometimes it really just bothers me how angry Walt gets with him. Like, bro, you try it. You be in his position and do it. And 18 minutes. You never had any intention of killing him, did you? How did you know I was at his house last night? Were you following me? See, now he's answering, he's asking questions. This is how I knew. So he has no problem telling the truth. Okay. When screw up like I know you will and wind up in a barrel somewhere. <laughs> That's how the blood got on the ground. They're fighting. God damn. Going so hard about it. Come on, Jesse. Well, I mean, I forgot who started it. Can you walk? They get the f out of here and never come back. So, is their partnership over? What? And that's how they're ending the episode. I swear to God. It's like, I didn't expect them to go that, like, hard at each other. Like, yeah, they've gotten into fights before. They've gotten into arguments. But that fight was, like, the biggest kind of thing that they've ever had. And then what Jesse just said, get the fuck out and never come back. So their partnership is over. But it's like, Jesse still needs him to be able to teach him the formula if he's going to go to Mexico. So, you know, he's kind of in a rut, you know? And still, he did still kind of, like, fuck Walt over in a way. Like, yes, he did say that he doesn't know how to cook it and everything. But it's like, Gus seems like he's basically trying to do what he did with Gale. He's trying to get Jesse to learn the formula. Which means if Jesse learns it, he won't need Walt anymore so he can kill him. So it's like, I get why Walt is angry, but it's also like, I feel bad for Jesse. Like, they are just like in a shitty position right now. Like, yeah, Jesse was at Gus's house for two hours and 18 minutes and he didn't kill him. And like, I low-key thought that he put it in the, uh, like, put the shit, the vile shit into the food. 
because you know we also saw that Jesse didn't really take a bite of his food but apparently he did so he didn't kill Gus obviously so it's like now that I, I'm like really thinking about it it's like when are they ever really gonna get the chance to even like attempt to kill Gus like I feel like they never will and the shit that's happening with him between like the cartel and everything it's like you're never gonna get a chance like He's always so fucking busy doing something. And I don't know. Like, I low-key thought this episode we would see Hank and Walt actually go to the place. But they didn't. They cleaned up the whole place. So maybe next episode that's what's going to happen. But I don't know. I'm just, like, really questioning, like what's gonna happen with that and not even just that it's like with fucking ted ted came around messing with skylar's head she helped him and now i really feel like she's with the way that she went down and got that fucking like bag thing that has all the money in it from under the floor i literally feel like she's gonna give that to ted and if she does i'm gonna be so fucking pissed because like literally that is walt's money that's not even her money that's walt's money that he's making for the family and she's just gonna give it to Ted? Like, that is low-key not fair at all. Yes, the man is struggling, but again, he put himself into that situation. I just... She's starting to piss me off again! It's like, I liked her whenever she was like, yeah, she helped Ted, so cool with that. But then, she, if she if she gives Walt's money to Ted to help him out, I'm gonna be so pissed because that is literally some bullshit he Walt is not making money for that reason he is making money for the family like come on none of these people seem to catch a break but with all that I just want to know what's gonna happen next episode so I guess come back for episode 10